In the U.S., the economy is on a roller coaster ride. The U.S. gained 1.8 million jobs in July as public health restrictions were reintroduced in some places, closing businesses for a second time. It's a lot fewer than the 4.8 million jobs that were added in June. Tens of millions of Americans are still out of work, and lawmakers can't agree on an economic relief stimulus bill, as Jennifer Johnson reports. America's unemployment rate is still over 10 percent as the COVID-19 pandemic keeps tightening its grip on the economy. The U.S. Labor Department reports job gains in July were less than half the gains reported in June, a deceleration some economists feared. It's a slowdown, and that slowdown is completely related to the surge in virus in the South and West as a lot of municipalities started to slow down the reopening process. Millions of out-of-work Americans are in desperate need of more economic help, but the two sides in Congress are still wide apart on any long-term plan. The Republicans have proposed a $1 trillion relief package. The Democrats' plan is over $3 trillion, but they say they're willing to compromise. If we could do that, if we take down a trillion and they add a trillion, we'll be within range. Pandemic unemployment benefits have run out for more than 30 million Americans. The Paycheck Protection Program to help small businesses pay employees expires Saturday, and an eviction moratorium expired last week. Let's say if I can't pay my rent, they're going to kick me out, right? And I, I just don't want to live on the street. Democrats want the unemployed to continue to get an additional $600 a week. Republicans want to trim that amount. Late Friday, no deal was reached. The White House says President Trump is ready to sign executive orders to give Americans some relief. And we agree with the speaker. This is not the first choice. But people have run out of the enhanced unemployment, so that is something we will recommend an executive order on. Uh, and it relates to rental foreclosures. We will recommend an uh, a executive order on that and, and also student loans. Both sides agree tens of millions of Americans are hurting, with bills mounting, rent and mortgages due, and COVID-19 forcing businesses across the country to stay closed. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington.